how to customize receipts on Square. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can access to the receipts and also how you can customize them. So the process is very easy. You're going to head over to squareup.com, sign in for an account within the platform. As you can see, we are on the dashboard in here. Now, we are going to head over to the left side of the screen where are the menu or items of the menu. And then we're going to scroll down until we see the settings. We're going to click on settings. Now we have an extended menu. So we're going to click on accounts and settings. From here, you're going to see all the information about your account. So we're going to head over here to the uh, businesses. So we're going to see the receipts or something called received in to the items. Usually it is going to be uh, here uh, related to the business, but I see that they have moved it to maybe the payments. So when you uh, click on the payments, it will drop a little menu. And from here, you're going to see receipts, sale taxes, service charges, and payment methods. So we're going to select the receipts. And as you can see, we're going to see a preview for a receipt and also some modificator that we can add. So this is the whole receipt. As you can see, the preview is going to be in this case. I have selected it so you can see it. And here you're going to see the branding, as you can see. So we can basically modify the branding by clicking on edit here and set up the logo. So you can select the logo and also the color of the thumbnail or the header that you have. So basically, if I want to change that color, I'm going to click on edit here. Then we are going to change the color to something like this. I'm going to click on next and you're going to see the receipt in here. So if you want to change it like this, it is going to be like just like that. And also you can go ahead and add the branding for the point of sale. But here we are only interested in the receipt. So here we have the full logo. If you want to add a full logo or a small logo into this area, it is going to be changeable as you can see. Then you're going to click on publish on the receipt. Now, if you want to set up a printed, so you're going to set up a printed logo and it is going to be uh, converted into a black and white. As you can read here, printed logos are converted to black and white. Please test print your receipt to confirm actual print quality. So in case that you want to uh, save in the ink, you're going to ins uh, or insert the printed logo as a um, black and white uh, color. So aside from that, you can add some elements or remove them. For example, here we have items and total. You can show the item description, which is going to be in this area. You can go ahead and remove that and you can see that it is going to uh, disappear. You can show the total savings row when more than one discount is applied. Also, you can show or hide the cart level discounts on the same or the item level. So for the business information, as you can see, you can go ahead and set up the location business name. You can edit that detail just like that and change it. Or you can go ahead and set it up. So I'm going back here. It is going to take us into another window or item. So you can change the address. This is a fake address that I have put. Of course, this is a fake also phone number that I have put. You can add your social media, uh, as you can see here, contacts. So it is going to be added at the end just like that. So we are going to see in here. So let's see here. It is going to be added at the end on this page. So basically you can also add some additional text like the return policy and some custom text. And then you can show the referral banner in here just like that. Basically, that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you in the next one.